Construction continues to move forward for New York City's new borough-based jail program. Signage has gone up in Kew Gardens. The Department of Design has restricted access near 82nd Avenue as they begin the groundwork for the new jail. The project met with outrage from those who live and work in the area. Of course I'm upset. I'm very, very upset. It will devalue the uh, property. The project is part of an $8.3 billion plan to close down Rikers Island by 2027 and create four smaller jails in Queens, the Bronx, Brooklyn and Manhattan. The first jail being constructed is in Kew Gardens and is meant to replace the vacant Queens detention complex. And right now, construction is underway for a parking garage and a community space. The new Queens jail will have 886 beds and a separate facility for female inmates. James Palombo, an attorney, says having a new jail in Kew Gardens will be more convenient for him. As an attorney, it's just easier to visit your clients there. So, And I don't think people are going to be escaping, so I, I, I think it's not a bad thing. I just don't want it in the neighborhood. I think... They, sh in my opinion, they should have um, um, fixed uh, Rikers Island instead. But Julianne Harris Calvin with the Vera Institute of Justice disagrees. She believes community-based jails would take a more humane approach and reduce reincarceration. Rikers has had a long history of being incredibly violent. There is no way of changing that culture. The city's Department of Design is expected to complete the first phase of the Queen's Jail before the end of the year. In Kew Gardens, Lisette Nunez, Fox 5 News.